Check this thing out. teeth content today my buddy Brent is in the chair and we placed this implant on him six months ago so the implants healed beautifully we're going to actually take a scan for a crown which will then take a couple weeks so come tag along as we unscrew this healing collar index where the implant is at with a 3d scanner and then get him out of here there's a couple different ways to test it but here you can see the implant is sticking out of the gums can you zoom in on mm -hmm. that cool and we're gonna use this little tapper device Negative 5.6. All right, now we're gonna use a different device to test it. So this little healing collar actually unscrews from the implant. You can see the implants down under the gums. All right, I'm gonna put this little post in here. Do not bite down, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now we've got our second testing device. This is called an Ostel, and this gives me a numerical value right here on this machine of a 77, which has a green ring around it. Anything above a 60 means the implant has healed properly. So he is ready for a crown. All right, so Becca is taking a 3D scan of Brent. Check this thing out. So this is, this is called a scan body, and this is going to screw into the implant, then we're gonna take a scan of that. So basically, the lab is able to take this 3D scan and then design a crown off of that little analog that I screwed in place and then scanned. So then they'll send me back a crown that will actually screw into place and then he'll be able to chew with it, floss, eat with it as if it's just a normal tooth. And that's the beauty about dental implants. I wanna hear how you made your life 1% better today. This is what I did. Behind this dental unit, there used to be like an open wall area with a bunch of hoses and crap, it looked terrible, so I put that up. I deleted this drawer so that the countertops that are going in tomorrow will look good. And that's it. That's all I did today to make myself 1% better in the office. So show me what you did or tell me what you did. All right, I wanna warn you on this part, if it's your squeamish, please look away right now. Okay, so here is Sam. She is drawing blood for what we call PRF or PRP that's commonly used in surgery and sports medicine. Basically it helps the patient heal and we draw a few vials and put it in the centrifuge. The centrifuge spins it very, very fast, separates the layers such as red blood cells, plasma, platelets, and such. And that way we're able to extract the platelet-rich fibrin or platelet-rich plasma that is in your blood. We then separate this and mix it with bone to create a substance for what we call sticky bone. It's a bone graft that we then place in the sockets of extracted teeth or around dental implants. And we also get a couple of what we call membranes or PRF membranes. We then use these membranes and place it over bone grafts and implants and soft tissue grafts, basically anything that we want to heal efficiently. Shout out to Sam for taking these videos. I totally stole her content. She is starting to make YouTube videos, so I linked her YouTube channel in the description below. Yo guys, I wanna get on here and say, I've been catching a lot of grief about building the Hellcat as an off-road vehicle and that there's other YouTubers that are already doing it, like Wesley Chaplin, Adam LZ, another guy named Judah, who happens to have a red Hellcat just like mine that he's lifting. So guys, I do not care. There are so many YouTube channels that have such similar content. I myself follow probably 20 different YouTube channels on drag racing. There's gonna be overlap. There's so many people out there that are creators and using their minds to build their foundation and their YouTube channels off of. And so guess what? There's gonna be overlap of content. People are gonna copy each other's ideas. Yeah, I got inspired by Wesley Chaplin, but Judah and I, we literally posted a video on the exact same day of a red lifted Hellcat. Total coincidence, pretty funny actually. So I reached out to him today and I said, hey dude, we gotta collab or do something. But 
Yes, there's overlap, so what? Deal with it, enjoy the content, have fun. Support the people that put so much time and money into their builds on their cars because listen, they're just trying to have fun just like you are and they're willing to share it. So I encourage you to get out there, make some content as well, be inspired by other YouTubers, copy them, do something similar because guys, we're in this life together. Let's have fun, let's send it. Let's improve ourselves 1% a day. So get after it and go have some fun yourself. See you tomorrow. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, dang it, I really need to brush my teeth? Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarland.com.